What's up my YouTube family? Um, today I'll be sharing with you how you can put a text behind an image just like what you're looking at now on my um, screensaver. I've got a picture of my son and then you've got a text going behind um, his back. Um, literally that says adventure. Um, so this is what we will be creating just like the thumbnail that you see on this video. Um, so let's get started. Uh, the app that we'll be using is called a Snapseed. This app is free. All you have to do is just download from your Google Play or Apple Store. Um, and it goes both ways, this tutorial. Um, so starting with um, the plus sign here. As soon as you hit the plus sign, get the image that you're interested in, in working on. Um, and then we're going to change that to portrait. And you, if you're happy with the look that you're going for, so you could change any um, look that you're interested in. So at the moment, I'm not interested in doing a black and white or anything. I could do that, but I'm not interested in any of those. So I'm going to go straight to portrait. Um, I'm happy with that look um, as soon as I've, I've done that. Um, so I'm going to go to tools right at the bottom here in the middle. And then I'm going to scroll down to the text. I'm going to add a text. So uh, by editing this, double tap that text. Um, and then you would put anything that you're interested in put in here. So I'm just going to put so this picture. This fella looks like um, he's interested in and like going to adventure. Like he's like literally thinking. He, he's looking at the horizon. Like the sun is going down. It looks really beautiful. So what I'm just going to write here, adventure. If I can spell it right. So there you go. And then I'm going to enlarge this image. Um, let's say that you are not interested in the format at the moment that's in so you could always change the color you can change the font so i'm just going to change that to black make it stand out um if you want the the gradient you can lower it down um and then if you're interested in changing the line like the the type of font you could do that um however you are interested in so i'm just going to keep this here um line two l2 so I like this kind of look. So I'm going to, before I change that, so let me just quickly enlarge this even further and then move it up. Keep it straight. There you go. That looks more about straight to me. Um, I can change the color to whatever color that interests me. So this look blends in with the background, but I want something to stand out. I want something to pop out. So I'm going to keep the, the black or the white. But the white looks look again. It's not so. It's not popping out. So black looks more better to me. Uh, it's more pleasing in the eye. So I'm just gonna go ahead by pressing this tick button right at the bottom. So once you've done that, um, you just need to go right at the top here. There's an arrow uh, showing you. Uh, that's gonna take you what you did on your previous um, working, which is the overlay. So I'm just gonna take you to view edit. Now here it tells you what we have done throughout, like up to this stage. So I'm interested only in text. So I've literally selected the text and then you can see a paintbrush here, click that. And then you will notice that the, the text has disappeared. So to bring the text back, so all you have to do is this right bottom left. So next to the cross. So you're not going to click the cross. The cross is going to cross your picture, but we're not interested in that. The one next to it, that's what you have to do. So now that brings the picture front. Um, so now our task begins. We would like to put this picture behind. In order to do that, all you have to do is zoom in the picture and then start removing. So all you have to do is just keep on swiping in and then moving. So you've got the rubber in your hand and then you just you can zoom out and zoom in by pinching the image. So I'm cleaning that, you can see that. So the end starts to disappear. So I would like to clear that off his head. And then off his shoulders. You can see that I've cleared too much here. 
So to bring the text back, all you have to do is just put the arrow that's going up. Now we're going to bring it back, the text what we've cleared. And then now you need to go back to the arrow down and then wipe out things that you're not interested in. So I'm just going to wipe out really slowly without looking and clearing too much. So wipe it even a little bit slower. Okay, so let me take the opportunity now um, just to introduce myself. I'm active in social media. If you could kindly follow me in Instagram at asale1. So I'm just going to leave that how you spell it and everything in the image here as well. Um, so that will be really helpful if you follow me there. Um, so we're just going to wipe down even further here. Take the T off his shoulder. That looks nice. And then take this part off his head. There you go. That looks good. Take this part of his ear. That looks better. Take the U off his hoodie. That looks better. Now, the only part that's left here is the E that's touching his shoulder. That looks good. Um, I think I took that too much off. Bring that back down. So what we can do is take it slowly. That looks good. Yeah, we've got the T there and we've got the E and everything else. So now I'm going to tick this button here right at the bottom corner. Once you've done that, um, so now um, the last stage is literally to hit the arrow back right at the top left. And now you're left with the image here. Um, so you are good to go and export this image to how you want it. So I'm going to click export. And then I'm, for now, I'm going to save it here. Should I want to change it in future, the color, I can change that. So I'm going to click save. That's all saved. So you're all set. And that's about it. Um, if you are new in this channel, please consider subscribing. If I if you found this video quite helpful, um, give us a thumbs up and um, let us know what you would like to see in future in terms of uh, apps and free apps and things like that. Thank you very much.